In this documentary, you'll see a simulation of a nuclear explosion in New York, the devastating impact on Moscow, how people in Los Angeles traffic might not even notice, and what San Francisco could become in a post-apocalyptic scenario. And this is the Topol missile, a Russian intercontinental ballistic missile. It takes just 20 minutes to reach New York and only 10 seconds to erase it from the map. In just one second, the Empire State Building is gone. You can see the shockwave expanding, a wave of destruction tearing through the city. Within seconds, entire blocks are reduced to rubble. At ground zero, in the heart of the blast, people won't even have time to realize what's happening. Look, Manhattan disappears beneath the explosion. By second seven, the death toll has already surpassed one million. The fire zone stretches beyond the borders of New York. Total deaths, over one and a half million dead. Estimated injured, nearly three million. And now, an American missile is already on its way in return. You're witnessing the most terrifying game of ping pong humanity has ever played. You're watching as it hits the very heart of Moscow, the Kremlin, Red Square, a place where tourists once stopped to take photos, gone in an instant. The explosion wipes out the entire central part of the city. So powerful, survival here is impossible. But most top government officials likely survive. They don't work in the center. They operate remotely. Now look, the entire downtown area, even Moscow City, crushed by the shockwave. Skyscrapers fall like dominoes. Streets vanish beneath mountains of debris. This is Moscow, the capital, the brain of Russia. And in a single moment, it's decapitated. You see smaller explosions rippling across the city. Gas stations ignite. Everything that can explode, guzz. Everything that can burn, burns. Moscow is gone. Around 400,000 people dead. And close to one million injured. This is another Topol M, and it's headed straight for the United States. After the destruction of Moscow, military commanders, deep in underground bunkers, launch a missile at the liberal heart of the Western world, Los Angeles. It takes just seconds to obliterate Skid Row and the financial district. Skyscrapers are torn apart by the shockwave. The blast reaches Hollywood, drying up the Silver Lake Reservoir. It pushes further, hitting Long Beach, Santa Monica, and even Beverly Hills. The nearest buildings along the coastline remain structurally intact, but their roofs and windows were blown away. At least 650,000 dead, and nearly one and a half million wounded. And here's the next missile, the KH-22. Not as powerful as the Topol M, which is precisely why it was aimed at a relatively small but incredibly expensive city, San Francisco. Nevertheless, it's enough to destroy the city center in just three seconds. The shock wave sweeps away all those Victorian buildings, along with the business centers on the waterfront. In just 10 seconds, the city is obliterated. Only a few seconds more and thermal radiation will reach Oakland. 500,000 lives lost and 500,000 more injured.